Dana, it's great to have you on the program. I'm surprised you come on as a domestic security threat. I would think you'd be plotting against America. Oh, Grant, I know it's good to be with you. I'm surprised I haven't yet been arrested um, as a result of what Congressman Rice thinks, as Congresswoman Rice thinks, you know, I'm so incredibly dangerous. And it's really terrifying that this woman sits on any, any committee and has any influence where it concerns Homeland Security. I want to remind everyone in case or bring it up to them in case they're unfamiliar that Congresswoman Rice's district in Long Island recently had a spate of MS-13 killings and yet, Grant, she had harsher words for myself, harsher words for the millions of NRA members than she did MS-13. She hasn't said anything even remotely close, if at all, that I have been able to find where it concerns Antifa violence or Black Lives Matter violence or any super far left progressive different from your typical run of the mill, just open minded Tocqueville classical liberal. I mean, this is she's she's not condemned any of those things. And then to identify myself and you and everyone else as as a domestic threat. How? Because we we support our Second Amendment, because we as a free people, Grant, believe in fact-checking a press that regularly, routinely maligns us, because if that's what she considers a domestic threat, I fear for the future of this country. So here's what I'm concerned about, Dana, is that she weaponizes her seat on that Homeland Security Committee, all of a sudden starts putting gun owners on watch lists. Uh, she's going to want to go and, and do who knows what. She's got subpoena power. She could start investigating gun owners simply because she hates the fact that we own guns. Grant, you read my mind because this, if people wonder why I and you and so many others have been so vocal where it concerns these watch lists, this, everybody watching, this is an example right here that you can have someone who sits in a seat of power who can add your name to a list with no accountability, no legal recourse for you to remove your name from this list, that she can classify you just because you support the Second Amendment, because you hunt, because you, you don't want to live in fear when you're out and about walking at night, you want to be able to carry a firearm lawfully as you are entitled to do, you're, those are your rights, and she thinks that that is a threat and could put you on a watch list for that. That's, that's one of the things for which she's advocated. So here's what we're doing. We're, we're starting the hashtag remove rice. Remove rice from the Homeland Security Commission that she sits on because she can be very dangerous and her bias and hatred towards American gun owners uh, will be called out and we need her removed from that committee. And then I'm urging all gun owners out there to try to get this woman out of office the next election in, in 2018 because those kind of comments, Dana, I think you're right there with me, will not be tolerated by freedom-loving Americans. No, I don't think so. And so, and just last just last evening, Grant, I heard from so many people in her area, in her district, uh, her constituents, who said that they were shocked by what she said. They were shocked by her apparent ignoring of MS-13 gang violence, but yet she takes it upon herself to declare law-abiding gun owners as domestic threats. It really, it really surprised them, and they don't want they don't want her representing them anymore. And I would think anybody. This is the kind of stuff. By the way, I'm going to point this out too, Grant. This is why Trump got elected. This stuff that we're seeing right here, this is why you had millions of good, hardworking, blue-collar men and women from flyover America, from one end to the other, that came out in droves and voted against this sort of rhetoric. They voted against this sort of representation right here. And I want everyone to take a good, hard look at what Representative Rice has said, what she represents as we go into 2018 and 2020. And Dana, look. She knows that gun owners across America, led by the NRA, got President Trump elected. She sees the rise now of NRA TV and the coverage that we are getting pushing messages of freedom and pro-Second Amendment messages. And I truly believe it has them running scared. And this is why she writes comments like that to try to divide this nation. They are the most divisive party going right now, the Democratic Party in Washington, being led by this kind of nonsense. It's un-American and it's flat out wrong. 
Well, they view, and they view us as a threat because of that very reason, Grant, because NRA members vote, because law-abiding gun owners vote. We don't want our rights to go away. We don't want anyone to infringe on our rights. We just want to be left the hell alone by government. My gosh, we're just regular, average, everyday men and women. And this kind of stuff doesn't help from, from Congresswoman Rice. But this is why they, they realize the power that gun owners like you and me and everyone else, they realize the voting power we have. And she's seeking to nullify that. I mean, how else is this to be interpreted, Grant? These are people who say that my, and yes, I was mad. I was mad because the New York Times maligns good Americans every single day. And when I promised that a free people were going to fact check their press, well, apparently that was too much for Representative Rice. And she thinks that free people don't have that right. And apparently, Grant, Congresswoman Rice also thinks that free people don't have the right to bear arms.